Alrighty guys, back at it again. If this is your first time watching, please go ahead, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the little bell for notifications. Also, feel free to follow us on our Instagram page at Adam Your Dog Trainer, where I post pictures of my students on a regular basis. Now, let's get to today's mashup. Today, we are talking about Nutrisource, their uh, Woodlawn, yeah, Woodlawn Selects Formula, sorry, uh, versus Buffalo Wilderness Salmon. So uh, this was actually requested several times by a bunch of people. So this one's for you guys, you know who you are. And so let's get to today's mashup. I'll see you guys after the intro. Deuces. Alrighty, so as always, we are now going to start to read the ingredient listings of both brands to try to compare and see what we like just off the ingredients alone. So let's start with the uh, Nutrisource and we'll dive into those ingredients. Let me bring that up on your screen. So we have wild boar, turkey, turkey meal, Manhattan fish meal, green lentils, red lentils, garbanzo beans, sunflower meal, sunflower oil, uh, Tacanola, wow, starch, uh, chai seed, tomato, dried tomato pumice, uh, and then you get a bunch of natural flavoring, blah, 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 blah. All right, so that sounds pretty legit. It sounds like it's pretty decent proteins, pretty well valued. Um, it's a good balance, and I kind of like to see how this one turns out. So let's compare that to the Salmon Wilderness formula. Let's go ahead and bring that one up on your screen. There you go. And with that one, we have demode salmon, chicken meal, peas, pea protein, Manhattan fish meal. Uh, there we go. Tilapia starch, dried tomato pomace, pea starch, chicken fat, dried egg pomace, or dried egg product, flaxseed, natural flavorings, potatoes, pea fiber, alfalfa concentrate, blah, 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 blah. All right, so now with this formula, I, I hate the wilderness formulas because they're very misleading. Um, it does start out with salmon, but the very next ingredient is chicken. And if you want to try to stay away from chicken-based formulas, it should say salmon and chicken, not just with salmon. So that's kind of very misleading on the bag. So let's go see how this looks after our three hour time lapse. Let's get down and dirty. And I did make a change and I will tell you about it when we get up and closey. Alrighty, let's go ahead. I'll see you guys on the other side. Alrighty guys, so today we are doing Blue Buffalo Wilderness Salmon versus Nutrisource. This is their salmon and beef formula, and it is a grain-free, potato-free. We're gonna do our usual. Fourth of a cup from Nutrisource. So there's that. Pretty cool. And I'm gonna mix it up a little bit, and we are gonna do six milliliters of white vinegar. It was a request made to try to match the stomach of a dog a little better than the lime juice. All right, now we're gonna do our regular two cups of water. That's it for three hours. We'll see you guys on the other side.
right, so after the three hours, you guys saw what I saw. And you know, it was very comparable back and forth between the two. I will say that the uh, expansion of both foods was relatively equal, um, which kind of shocked me because I would figure the Nutrisource would break down a little more than it did. But um, we'll talk about the bubbles first of all. There was a lot more bubbles in the Blue Buffalo brand than the Nutrisource brand. And I don't understand why that's happening. I think it's because they changed the way they're cooking or processing their food. So they're cooking it at a little bit higher temperature, which is trapping more gases into the actual kibble itself. So when we put that in the now vinegar bigs, we're getting that little bit more of the bubble uh, secretion. And we really didn't get much in the Nutrisource, which was kind of impressive actually. So let's start with the blue buffalo here. And you see, here's the blue, pretty consistent. We can see our fingers to the bottom, which is actually pretty good. We like to see that. All right, we do have a little ring around the top here, and there is a lot of bubbles up top. I mean, it actually smells pretty bad too, to be honest. Uh, but there's a lot of bubbles up there. You can even see them just from the top right up there. You can see all little white bubbles. And so, yeah, so now if I move on to the Nutrisource, it's very similar. The broke down, you can see the fingers between, which is decent. It did break down pretty well. It did expand about the same as the other one, but there's no bubbles. Very few bubbles. If I do the little ringy thingy here, we have no buildup around the top. And I think that's because of the chicken fat that the blue buffalo uses in the top. That's why we get that ring around the top. That's that fat, that rendered fat that's causing that. You know, so this one's closer than I thought it was gonna be. Um, I thought Nutrisource was gonna blow this out of the water, but actually it's a little bit closer than, than, than you know you and I would think. And I'm gonna give this one a Nutrisource because obviously the bubbles uh, were better. There were less of them, there were none. But at the end of the day, it's pretty, pretty close. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go with Nutrisource on this one. It is a really good formula. Uh, the little baggie here, the little sample bag, says it's a grain and potato-free and chicken-free formula. So that's pretty pretty awesome. You really don't see those combinations all together. Um, I think this might be a good formula for you to try if you want to. Um, it would be a great transition food because um, it would be super sensitive for sensitive stomachs because there's no gases in those in that uh, kibble. So this way your dog won't get below, which is always a very important thing. That's why they tend to throw up their food when they, they're doing that uh, transitioning too fast. Also, um, it also will help with the diarrhea thing that happens when dogs tend to, to change too fast. All right, so I'm gonna give this one to the Nutrisource. Kind of pleasantly pleased, but you know, you know, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Uh, coming up this week, I do have a really awesome mashup. I'm gonna be doing a Costco brand, the Kirkland's brand, versus somebody. So I want you guys to tell me in the comment section below who you want the Kirkland's brand, that's Costco's brand, to go against. So tell me in the comments below. Once again, thanks for watching all the way to the end here. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys later. Everyone have a great Monday. And as always, see ya.